I'm working on an integrated photonic solution for coupling light vertically off of an integrated photonics chip. This is our experimental setup for testing the chip. This summer I'm working in Professor JJ Hu's lab. Right now I'm testing the chips that we've already fabbed. Before I turn it on, let me put my glasses on. I'm Chris Moore. I come from University of Washington and I'm a rising senior studying physics and astronomy. So the first step that I'm doing is with the fiber that's bringing my light in. I want to try and visually couple that to my device. Fiber comes along right here, and then it gets bent down over this ridge. This right here is a microscope, and that microscope is feeding to my laptop screen over here. This is the fiber right here coming down. This is one of the devices, and this is actually the reflection of the fiber off of the chip. So the first thing that I'm looking for is I can see sort of a bright spot as I go over the device, and then it goes away. And so I'm trying to get it right in the middle of that. We have two fibers. One of the fibers is coming in from our laser source. For this experiment, instead of using a laser, we're using an SLED. It's a more broadband light source. I'm bringing the fiber closer. I wanted it to be far off so that it was easier to find the light, but now I want to get to an optimal offset from my chip. Now I'm trying to couple the light that's going into the chip back vertically out the chip into the second fiber. And so this is the overall intensity that I'm seeing, and then this is my fiber, and I try to align it over the device that I think is sending the light out. Now I've moved the second fiber over to this second set of couplers so that I can couple the light out. And then I will measure the overall intensity that I can get through coupling and compare that with just the raw power that's coming out of the laser and be able to compare those two numbers to get an efficiency for each of these devices. And that will allow us to better know how to design the devices in the future.